Hey everyone and welcome to this Untamed screencast tutorial. Today we're going to go over the background manager plugin and figure out exactly how to integrate full page background images into your existing WordPress site. It's a great way to kind of spruce up your site and also to kind of create a slideshow effect in the background so that's pretty neat. Um, we're going to start from the very beginning so I have a local WordPress install under my um, uh, MAMP configuration and we can go into the dashboard and start um, figuring this thing out. So if we head over to the plugins area and we go to add new, just go to type in background manager and we'll submit that and see what comes up. Alright, and of course background manager, so I already have this one installed, however, um, all you need to do is to click the install button and there will be a little verification prompt, you verify that, and then you're off to the races. So let's head over to the installed plugins and we can take a look at that. So the background manager, alright, and we want to make sure that we activate that. So one of the things you'll notice is that there's not actually a new setting, sometimes with plugins, um, they'll add a new setting. What this um, does is it actually extends the already existing functionality of the background module in WordPress. So we'll just head over to background. Alright, and it looks like we have a preview and it looks like we already have an image set, but let's go for another one. I've gotten a few pictures of just a cityscape that I thought were pretty nice, um, you know, nice and big for use on our site. You don't want to choose images that are way too big, that take forever to load. Um, but then again, you also want to make sure that the images that you choose for your backgrounds not be too small to where if you stretch them out to the full width of a large monitor that they're just going to look pixelated. That's not going to look um, the way you're thinking. So we'll check out our background sets and we'll add a new one. And the nice thing that, th that this uses, it just uses the WordPress gallery um, plugin so we can add an image real quick and drop them right in there. So that's both of our images and then we'll save those changes. Let's see. All right, and so those are um, saved to our post. And the only other thing that's absolutely necessary is you just give yourself a good title for this. So we'll call this Cityscapes. And that will allow us to kind of keep track of this image set in case we want to use it or change one out on a specific page. We'll know what we're dealing with. So we'll add that image set. All right, and so that was successfully added. And we'll head over to the back to the background manager area. Um, let's see. I we can control this by making sure we choose our correct image set. And so we have a little bit, bit of a preview starting now. I like a nice dark, like a black background color to start with just so we can um, sort of play with how opaque or not the images in our background are because you don't want them overtaking your content, you want them to complement it. And we will, let's see, image selection order, we can go with random order, you can go with a more specific order if that's kind of the way you, you prefer, um, to select an image um, at at each browser section or every 10 seconds um, and that's kind of nice and this will um, degrade gracefully and so I like to choose that one remember last image displayed sure we can do that and so we're making sure that we're not showing the same image over and over and over to start with I um, mean just kind of pr um, provide some consistency across the site so we'll enable that and then it, this will be active on all of our pages since we do want an active site wide or you could just have it active on your front page if that's just the feel that you'd like on the front page and for every other page to sort of be a little bit more plain and then we can affect our background image opacity so you, you can see the preview up here that the image opacity is actually going down or it's very very high I like to kind of have something in the middle there and then the size if you choose normal that's going to give us a tiled look and that's really not what we're looking for with the full screen effect so we'll choose full screen and of course you can tra change in some transition effects and some overlay grids and different thing like that, things like that and also you can enable the pin it button which is kind of nice especially if you have maybe a boutique or some different products that you'd like to show off the pin it button would be a great way to get your full page background image and your site featured on Pinterest which is just super super cool alright and we'll save those changes and we'll see what we have 
go back out to the site and it looks like we've done it we have our full page background image and we'll just wait here to let it change over to, to our next image and there it is alright and so that's how we set up the full page background image plugin using WordPress it's quick simple and easy you almost have to change nothing about your existing site just throw the plugin in there and you'll be off to the races thanks for watching